It's been a challenge to find some nice weather to hit the tracks and go camping with the continual rain for weeks now. But with no end of the rain in sight and an itch to get outside, we decided to make the most of what we did have and head off camping and exploring for the weekend despite the rainy forecast. Slippery tracks, rained out camps, flooded creeks and massive waterfalls, we were in for one epic adventure. That was re locker in, second gear low, and plenty of send. Proudly supported by Outback Equipment and in part by. Before we start the video, I'll quickly interrupt to let you know that we have officially released Dad's Dumb Decisions merch, inspired by all the dumb decisions I make when out tackling the tracks around Australia. Available now only at tylerthompson.com.au. As well as this, we have restocked campfire tees in a range of colours. It was late Friday afternoon, Demi and I had packed up the nav and were on our way out into the Great Dividing Range for a weekend of four wheel driving and camping. Not knowing this area too well, I will admit I did get a little bit lost on the way out there. So after a few circles, a few wrong turns, we eventually got into where we'll plan to camp after dark. First challenge is going to be getting this fire going in the rain. We got that fire going nice and warm now. It's definitely a little bit cold up here in the mountains. We built ourselves a little home here as well. Got the awning up and got a side wall and a front wall out for it. First time I've ever used the side walls on it. Not something I really used, but I brought them this weekend knowing that we're basically going away to camp in the rain the whole weekend. So Demi and I are away. We didn't get it up here till late. It's like 9 30 10 o'clock on a friday night now we finally set up camp and <laughs> we've still got to cook dinner and stuff but uh yeah we're away for a weekend full driving and camping we're up in ryamaka state forest i think it is tonight enfield state forest and yeah we just i don't know it's been raining so much late we thought we'll just still get out and sort of go prepare we got the rooftop tent and we brought all the gear we needed it's not raining too much at the moment, it's just sort of drizzling out here and there's not any not any wind, it's really nice, it'll be beautiful in the morning. Better get cracking on this dinner, gonna cook up a mushroom risotto tonight on the fire there, that's why I got it cranking. 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 Step number one, dice up some brown onion. Using the skillet with the lid on the fire, put some oil in there. Cut sick. A little bit of garlic powder. Onions all fried up on the fire there. I've just pulled it off because it's getting very hot. Gonna put the rice in now. Being risotto, you need aborio rice. Is that how it's pronounced? Aborio rice. I'm very hungry, I eat lots of food, so we're gonna put lots of rice in. We're gonna do two cups. Put that rice back on the fire and then you gotta stir it around a little bit before you put the water in. You gotta cook the rice in stock now. We didn't actually bring like the jars, boxes of stock mix. So we've got cubes, we've got water, we're trying to like mix them here as we go on the go. So there's one cup. The idea is to just do little bits at a time and let the rice soak it up then add more as it's soaking it up. So we've got two cups of rice in there and we're going to end up with a total of five cups of stock in there. Roughly as a guess, about maybe about five cups of stock in there. You just sort of want it to look sluggy. I've never actually cooked risotto, so Demi's mostly doing this slash telling me what to do. 
But the problem being, you gotta keep stirring it as you go. So we got the pregnant girl out here in the rain at 10.30 at night in the smoke by the fire stirring the risotto by our stand over here under the awning watching. While Demi's doing that rice, I'm gonna slice up a few mushrooms here to go in it. That rice is getting closer to being done, so we're gonna add our mushrooms in. I like how you've been doing everything, and then I just come in and talk for 10 seconds and take the credit as if I'm cooking the dinner. Mm -hmm. I've just been standing over there doing nothing, snacking. All right, have fun. The rice has mostly soaked up that water now. It's uh, chewy, not hard. Mushrooms are just about cooked. Got to add nutritional yeast now, so gonna put a cup of that in, mix that through. It's all done, we'll serve it up. It wasn't exactly the 100% accurate normal method that Demi does at home, but it was kind of late night Friday, camp cook up in the rain, and we forgot balsamic vinegar. So normally you're meant to cook the mushrooms separately in balsamic vinegar and put them in, but we forgot that and we just cooked the mushrooms in here with it, and we normally have the liquid stock. Anyways, uh, this time of night in the cold rain, a warm risotto is going to be amazing. So we're going to sit down and enjoy this and then we'll probably set up the rooftop tent and go to bed and check back in in the morning. There's our little home we got set up in the rain. Very wet again this morning. Pretty much just rained all night. It's just drizzling, but it's still beautiful out here. You got the little creek flowing down there next to camp and out here amongst the birds, there's kangaroos everywhere. It's meant to rain the whole weekend, but we figured we may as well come out and still make the most of it anyway, rather than being at home. And that's one of the reasons we brought the nav because it's much more set up for rainy conditions uh, rather than the patrol and Still haven't got the new tyres for the patrol, so I don't want to take it away. Um, yeah, after we wrecked a tyre on the last trip and having old tyres on it and no spares, not a good combo. In here cooking up some eggs and toast for brekkie. I was like, don't forget the avocado, and then you just forgot it. <laughs> One of the worst things about camping in the rain is packing everything up when it is soaking wet. That's what we're going to do now, and then we're going to head off out of here for a bit of an explore. When you pack it up in the wet, you gotta basically close all the zippers up except they leave a couple little gaps down the bottom. Because if you leave them open, then the water runs in. But the only problem with that is it's just hard to get the air out. It's a lot slower to pack it up. So you gotta let all the air come out. All packed up, time to go. Left camp and just out exploring the tracks, doing all new stuff. I never really explored this area by four wheel drive. I used to come up here with dad a lot when we were little. This is all the, always the place we used to come up camping and he used to do a little bit of hunting and stuff. Absolutely amazing out here in the forest today. I just can't get over how beautiful it is out here in this rain and then exploring these tracks and uh, they don't get much use at all, so it kind of feels like you're exploring the unknown. There's no fresh tracks on them at all. You're sort of cutting through the grass and that. And yeah, I couldn't really think of anything to be better to be doing on a rainy Saturday than this. We're just, I don't know, there's no set plan. There's no set things to do out here. Just enjoying it. And there's wildlife everywhere. There's heaps of wallabies and birds and stuff around. Hopefully we don't get lost. I'm sort of <laughs> just weaving in and out of tracks through the mountains here everywhere keep cruising around and see what we can find.
it's just beautiful out here. So glad that we came out because we were debating whether to come camping this weekend because we knew it was just going to be raining the whole weekend. But this sort of environment in the rain is just amazing. Super fun track this one. I don't really know where it's taking us, but we're off on it anyway. We'll find out. Look at that. It's literally a whirlpool in the middle of this crossing. That's crazy. I've never seen that before. Track. That was an awesome drive, ended up doing a big sort of loop nilling, coming back out on the main road. And we're going to shoot back up towards where we camped, because where we camped there's a big shed there in the paddock, an old shed. This rain's reasonably set in at the moment, so we're going to go back into that shed to get out of it, shelter, and have some lunch. Made it through to this shed shelter. It's actually not raining too much at the moment anyway, but it's still good in here with some protection. So we'll just, uh, yeah, have some lunch. We were thinking about using this as a bit of a camp shelter last night nearly but then we thought oh no we'll keep going and we camped out along that creek out in the paddock which is beautiful if anyone wants a few hundred dollars worth of cans there's some here i don't actually know what this is used for these days uh, there's like a, a room up and stuff in here too a bit of shelter i guess if anyone ever needs it out here awesome view out there over the paddocks and you got the pine forest up there behind it I gave myself a beard trim at home yesterday before I came. What's everyone think? I reckon it looks better this length. My mate Josh has cut it for me a few times before, but I just got annoyed with how long it was getting yesterday Arvo at home. And I was like, oh, I'll get the uh, trimmers out and trim it back. And I thought it'd be one of those situations where you just keep going further and further each side, trying to even it up and there's eventually nothing left. But I think I did all right. It turned out pretty good. Just making some lunch now, guys. <laughs> Funny. Got sayos for lunch, but Demi forgot the avocado. Mm -hmm. So we just got cheese, cucumber and tomato. Navigated our way out of that forest we were in this morning, camped out last night, Ryamaka Enfield State Forest and came sort of out onto Thunderbolts Way and then over into Nundle State Forest where I've never been before but I've always wanted to come out here and check it out because I know there's a little bit of four wheel driving. Uh, it's about mid afternoon, we sort of come into the forest here and just having a bit of an explore around trying to find camp but it's gone very slippery and very muddy very fast. It's uh, all this red clay sort of stuff out here so to see how we go. Beautiful river flowing through the bottom of this valley here with all this rain. Spectacular. Just coming in across it now, nice and slow. A little bit of depth there, but it's only short. And geez, very rocky. Oh, look at the colour you made it. <laughs> Oops. Start heading back up out the other side. My concern is it was very steep and slippery getting down in here. and. Could be in for an interesting time getting back up here, <laughs> yeah, but we'll see how we go. That was a slippery little climb there. That was rear locker in, second gear low and plenty of send. I probably need to let, let my tires down a little bit more too. I've just had them down from this morning about 20 PSI, but yeah, I probably want to drop, I don't know, down to 15 or something into this sort of stuff.
found ourselves a camp spot for the night. We're actually at the main campground in the area, Nundal State Forest, Ponderosa Park, I believe it is, and there's no one else, no one else here. I guess no one else is crazy, crazy enough to be out on a weekend like this camping, but yeah, there's a heap of spots all over the other side too, but we came here because it's a nice grassy spot overlooking like the, I don't know, a bit of like a lake or swamp area through there. And we found a bit of a dry spot here. It's very, very wet <laughs> out here at the moment. So it's just water laying around everywhere. But yeah, we got a nice dry grassy spot. So we're going to set up here. Got that fire going. We've been craving hot chocolate all day. We're thinking about it this morning. We got this really nice new hot chocolate at home and we didn't bring it. And then, then we just had the idea, why don't we just heat up some milk and then melt some chocolate in it and then see how that goes, try and warm us up. That hot chocolate tastes really nice. We're just saying it's funny, we're only a few days off summer. We're right at the end of November and we're up here in the mountains in the rain and cold, freezing to death, trying to warm up with a hot chocolate. We'll set up this rooftop tent while it's still light and not raining and then we might cook some dinner. Yeah. Quesadillas on the menu tonight. Quesadillas, quesadillas, quesa, melas, whatever it's called. Um, some sort of Mexican. We got uh, ingredients spread out here all over the place. Don't really know what I'm doing. Demi's gonna tell me because I haven't cooked these before, but veggies, spices, sauces, everything, and then fry it up in a wrap, I believe it is. Starting with spring onions, dice them up. Spring onions in the frying pan with some oil. Mushrooms next. Tin of corn in there. Chopping up some capsicum. Capsicum in. Smoked paprika, cumin seeds. Cook all those veggies together for a few minutes there. Added in those herbs and spices. Smoked paprika, cumin, salt, pepper. Also added in some baby tomatoes while I was cooking too. Got all the veggies and mix cooked up. Cleaned out the frying pan, put some oil back in. Put a wrap in, they're just your Mexican tortilla wraps. Cheese on top of the wrap there. I like how I'm not actually just cooking, I'm just commentating your cooking. <laughs> As usual. Yeah, maybe I'll be a commentator one day. Excuse you! Cheese is not poisonous. <laughs> good to know, good to know. I, mean, I better check that bit. Wait, these ones look like they are. They're all poisonous. <laughs> no one must eat them. Spread the mix around on top. A little bit more cheese on top of the mix there just to help it stick for when we put this second wrap on. Now you gotta flip it. Lord help me. Oh, nice. Done. Nailed it. Flip it over so you can cook the other side. As you can see, it's looking nice and crispy and crunchy. Slide it. Hide the evidence. Put some salsa on top. Salsa. Normally you'd have avocado on these too. We don't have that, Demi forgot it. No, don't blame your mishaps on me. Some sour cream, a few jalapenos. Jalapenos. Mmm, whoa, that's so good. But, <coughs> damn, those jalapenos are hot. Woo! They're hot. <laughs> Get the sour cream. So hot. <laughs> My mouth's on fire. It's so nice in here under this awning with that sidewall up. It really makes a massive difference in helping keep the rain and wind out of here. As I said before, I've never, never used the sidewalls for this awning. I never use the awning that much, to be honest. But in this sort of weather, it's well and truly worth it. 
And if you have an awning and don't have a sidewall for it, then I definitely recommend getting it. And just keep it in your car for if you do need it in this sort of weather. Anyways, we'll finish our dinner and settle in and relax for the night and check back in tomorrow. There's been so much cloud and fog around this morning. It's not too bad at the moment, but half hour ago, you're lucky to see about 15 me meters across the paddock and everything's so wet around here. It didn't really rain much during the night, but just that thick fog and cloud and mist through everything. Beautiful morning out here though. This is an awesome spot. Glad we came here. Demi just made a coffee to wake her up for the morning. And now we're gonna try something different for brekkie. We're gonna make some French toast. French toast, let's go. What do we do? One cup of milk. Three eggs, mix it around. I'll cut up some bread, nutmeg and cinnamon. Butter in the fire pan, bread soaked in the concoction. Yum. Can't believe how cold it's been up here this trip and we're only literally a couple of days off summer. <laughs> I've had two jumpers on most of this trip. I'm back to one at the moment. Uh, it's very high up here as well. I think this Nundal State Forest, 1300 meters, 1400 in parts in winter. Up around here in this hanging rock and that you do normally get a couple of snowfalls each winter. And I've always wanted to come out here in the snow and check it out. I just never knew the area, but I reckon next time it's snowing, I'll come out this way for a look. I'll show on the map where we are actually and where we've sort of been this weekend. This is where we were the first night and yesterday. So you got Walker and then we're down below that over in this Ryamaka State Forest, Enfield, uh, Mumble Golf National Park, all this area in here. And then when we came out of there, we came out of this hell, hell hole forest road. Um, and you come out just down below this top dale road, took that, and then we did this one down into where we camped last night, this Ponderosa Park, and we did a bit of four-wheel driving around here yesterday. So you got Nundle just over there. And then yeah, we're gonna go for a bit of an explore around here today. First couple already, we're gonna have one each and then the next batch is cooking there. They look pretty good and smell delicious too. Gonna to add some toppings to them. Maple syrup. Tastes good. Like it? Yeah. Time to pack up and hit the tracks, I reckon. So far we've just kind of driven around in circles and got a bit lost and found not too much at all but we have come across this beautiful creek here to cross with quite a steep exit out of it. All the creeks are just flowing heaps at the moment after all this rain. This is a little bit deep in here. It's beautiful. Well, how nice is that? So nice. Still a beautiful day to be out here. There's lots of changing environments in the fact that you're in pine forests and next minute you're in Australian bushland and then next minute you're in like massive open logged areas. It's just all over the place. We'll keep going though and see what happens.
I had to floor through that one a little bit, and I'm glad I did. I sort of sat there debating, oh, can I just creep through that, but look very slushy. Then I thought, what am I going to winch off? I'm going to be trying to wrap it around logs on that pile, because I'm obviously by myself, I'm relying on the winch and getting myself out of these situations. So I was like, nah, I'm going to give it a power through that one, so I was second gear low of the locker in and floored it and spun it up out of there. Come out of that Nundal State Forest now. We sort of drove around there, did 17,000 laps of every single track area of the forest, and yeah, found a few things, but not a massive amount. There's a lot of logging going on in there at the moment, and a lot of the tracks are covered in trees down, which I had heard. I think they had a storm there a few weeks ago, and it's just a bit of a mess. But yeah, awesome time out there exploring. Um, the other problem we've had is the DPF filter light came on on the nav out there which is it's funny because I was only explaining to Demi on the way out of the, out this weekend how the car has a DPF and how they work and how modern cars have them but I've never had a problem with mine then the first time ever the DPF light came on saying it's clogged up uh, and we're also getting low on fuel so anyways bailed out of there on our way to Walker now um, and that DPF lights cleared itself so hopefully it stays off now once I got it on the highway and got those speeds up, it seemed to burn it off. It was, the car had lost a lot of power as well. It was very painful and slow to drive, but I managed to get up enough speed and burn it, um, do it to burn and clear itself out, I guess. Uh, so gonna get some fuel in Volca, and then we're gonna go to Apsley Falls, the last thing to do before we head home. Uh, check that out, and I've heard it's flowing a lot with the recent rain, so that should be cool. It's cranking. Yep. Mate, it's absolutely falls. There's so, there's so much water coming down there. That's crazy. I've never seen it like that before. There's been so much rain around the area in the last recent weeks. Just went for a little walk back up along and there's a swinging bridge there. You can walk across down the path down the other side. Wow, it's so wet over here from that waterfall. But we thought we'd come over here and get a better look of it. So cool, you can see the whole thing there in front of you, but I, me, myself and the camera are just getting soaked by the water off, coming off that waterfall, it's crazy. That's it, we're at the fall, and then the swing bridge up there. The massive waterfall, it's so cool here, like this massive gorge down through the whole valley. Awesome spot to end the trip before we make the drive home. Another super fun weekend away, I'm really glad that we ended up coming, because I was sort of debating whether to or not with all the rain around, but yeah, it's just beautiful out in all these areas, even in the rain, and we had so much fun and made the most of it. Did you have fun? This car's so dirty, gonna need a good clean. This is also probably gonna be the last trip away with this train canopy. You'll have to wait and see and reasons why, but I am getting rid of this and putting a whole new one on. New tray, new canopy, and a full new dual battery system that's going on in the next week or two. So I'm pretty keen for that. Anyways, we'll finish up the video and I'll see everyone in the next one. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Stop. Hey guys. Hi guys. You gotta cook it in stock now. You gotta cook the right. You gotta do it. So beautiful out here. So hopefully we don't get <laughs> hopefully we don't get lost. Uh, we just that was a slippery that was a slippery beautiful loop. <laughs> beautiful river thrower. 
<laughs> what is wrong with you? Start heading back up out the other side. My concern is... What's, that? <laughs> What's this little truck off the side? Yeah. My concern is... Oh, let's start again. Start heading back up out the other side. My concern is... Can... Anyways, we'll finish our dinner. <laughs> Anyways, we'll finish our dinner and... Jesus. <laughs> oh my God, honestly, every time I look at you, there's stuff in your face. New, new tray, new canopy, and a full new uh, 